Yes, ladies and gentlemen, episode 5 of Aim to Be a Pokemon Master titled Enter the Squirtle Fire Brigade just dropped, and this episode is one where Ash reunites with the Squirtle and Squirtle Squad. How will it go? Let's find out. In a classic case of misunderstanding, this episode has Team Rocket somehow be the managers of the Squirtle Squad for a show. The episode really doesn't explain how Team Rocket got them and became their manager. Even at the end of the episode, it's just kind of brushed off. But regardless, their show is popular with kids. In it, Squirtles are closer to Power Rangers and they put on a show where Team Rocket are the bad guys and the Squirtle Squad are the good guys and put out the fires. Our heroes, including the Kanto starter duo of Charizard and Bulbasaur, are shocked to see this. They then go to watch the show and Squirtle sees Ash and Co. watching the show. However, when Ash, Misty, Brock, and his Pokemon want to meet Squirtle after the show, Team Rocket prevents them from telling them to meet them in the hotel instead. Squirtle, seeing Ash, Misty, Brock, and the two Pokemon walk away however makes the assumption that they don't care for him anymore and gets upset. So when Ash and Co get to the hotel where the Squirtle squad are eating, a fight breaks out between Bulbasaur, Charizard, and Squirtle. Ash tries to stop it but he only gets a face full of attacks including a Thunderbolt from Pikachu to show for it and everyone walks away upset. Squirtle feels bad as well and as Ash is trying to figure out why they're fighting and reminiscing on old times, a fire breaks out. There was some faulty electricity near a warehouse where some Pokemon went to and now the blaze has gone pretty out of control. So to put it out, out comes the Squirtle Squad. They're struggling at first, however, with the help of Misty and her Pokemon, as well as the words of encouragement from Ash, the Squirtle Squad return with their old school jackets to start taking out the fire as a group. And this is where Bulbasaur and Charizard also decide to help out, seeing Squirtle return back to his previous form. They even help rescue a Spoink, a Makuhita, and a Venonat who were trapped on top of the warehouse. When the rescue ends, the people around celebrate and of course watching from above as always is Latias. Later in the evening, Officer Jenny, who's supposed to look after this group of Squirtle Squad, arrives and takes them back. Again, no real explanation of how she lost them to Team Rocket to become their manager. All we get is that they took him. Regardless, they have to leave now and Ash and Squirtle, who's sad to go, hugs Ash before leaving. As they're leaving, the group of kids from earlier who were watching the show as well as the fire come towards Ash. Ash thinks that they're there to see the Squirtle squad but instead, the mob is for Ash because they recognize him as the champion. I know a lot of people were happy to see this champion Ash being acknowledged. Anyways, that's the end of the episode and overall, it was a fine episode. I will say that the two main plots in this episode were pretty sloppily written with no explanation of how Team Rocket got involved. Their entire involvement in this episode just feels a little off. They're there to be a manager and then they try to steal Pikachu but then the wind takes them out and then they're taken out by a Hariyama and a camera up. I'm not sure what what their entire point in this episode was except to be the foil at the beginning of this episode. Also, Squirtle just gets mad seeing Ash and Co walk away for no reason and causes this massive friction. Again, you would think that, you know, Squirtle will just ask them what's up, but they just get in a fight. However, the second half of the episode with the fire is pretty good stuff. It shows Ash taking leadership when an issue arrives and it even shows his Pokemon being pretty strong, especially his Kanto trio who he's had for the longest. And it also shows that Squirtle has evolved to be a fantastic leader. And finally, this is the first time where we see Ash as champion after beating Leon being acknowledged by the general public as well as Misty and Brock's gym leader status. It was always strange to me that during their Kanto adventure, the two most important gym leaders of the town, Misty and Brock, were never recognized by people. Now since the series is ending, I guess writers can have people acknowledge them because now they're going to be going away soon too and it's gonna suck to see. Regardless, while the first half of the episode lacks, I think the second half of the episode makes up for it, so I think you can go ahead and check it out. The next episode seems to be a throwback to a previous Kanto slash Johto episode where Pikachu and Meowth get separated from Ash and Team Rocket and they have to make their way back. I wonder how they'll go about the story a second time. I can't wait. But that is it of my review of episode 5 to be an aim to be Pokemon Master. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, and the comments let me know your thoughts on this episode. You can follow me on Twitter at TheRealPDGaming and that is it. I will talk to you guys later. Peace.